doorknobs. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone? <laughs> it's like this screws came out with it! This game only has two categories of things. Unbelievably obvious that it's talked about ad nauseum, and impossible to figure out that you'd never find in a million years. I still think this is the perfect hamster-related murder. Okay, cool. As it's, they all are. Well, I mean, because, like, a murder's a murder, but, like, he's a robot, and, like, hamsters could go inside. I think of, like, Ant-Man, you know? Yeah, yeah, Ant yeah. Ant-Man going inside Thanos', Thanos anal hole. Dude, believe me, it's the classic hamster versus robot scenario that we've all <laughs> encountered a thousand times in our lives. Hey, I'm Grump! I'm not so Grump! And we're the Game Grumps! Hello, and welcome back to Game Grumps. It's, it's the- it's Grumps, it's games, it's all of the above. It's everything you've ever wanted in a show about grumpy people gaming. <laughs> we should have. There is an alternate world where this is this show is called like Grumpy Gaming. And like Absolutely. It's Whoa! Welcome to Grumpy Gaming. Today we're gonna be playing Don Gone Run but 2. One of the greatest games ever released for the PSP, re-released for PC, Switch, and PS4. And let me tell you, I'm really getting into this game, my friend. We're at the class trial right now, case number four, and we just discovered But it's not that. No, no, no. That sounds horrible. Yeah, no. All right, push a button. Um, yes. The other clue? Is he talking about that one time? <laughs> yeah, yep. Boy. You told me you'd never talk about that with somebody. <laughs> it was summer camp, it doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? Because I showed up. You showed up. How did you even come here? Maybe I teleported. To when you suddenly appeared on the second floor of Grape House, right? I'm asking you just to be safe. At the time, where do you think I came from? Hell. The top floor, right? Such sharp eyes. So you realized it already. The top floor is the bottom floor of the baby. But the Monokuma Archive should be the only room on the third floor of Grape House. What does it mean? The Monokuma Archive is. The Octagon? Uh, was that thing just now another hint to figuring out the mystery behind the funhouse structure? Didn't they go to the Monokuma archive though? No. Yeah, they did. They walked in. It had like the gilded. Oh Monokuma yeah, the statue. little place. Yeah, and we were like, oh, people actually do this? Like build little monuments to themselves? I, I do remember that now. Yeah. The reason the Guido appeared from the third floor. Using the photo he took, it might be able to find the answer if we just think about it. All right, let's do this. Oh, is it fucking Hangman's Gambit? Oh no, we're doing- It's a logic dive! Yes! yes. Snowboard! Yes. Go! Hell yeah. Go fast, go slow, fast, slow, fast. Jump, and jump. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like slow, fast isn't your best yeah, option. Go fast, then do a jumpy. A little jumpy. Jumpy the G. Oh no! <laughs> Pyramids of doubt! Oh! Ah. Oh! Oh no! My bad. Yo, my <laughs> B dog. Yo, my fucking B dog. Yeah, okay. Question one. Does Strawberry House and Grape House both exist? They exist. They exist. <laughs> oh! You alright? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my Damn, goodness. this shit got real. What the fuck is happening here? Dude, is that what they call a uh, creative writer's block? Question two. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> question two. Okay. Question Whoa, two. holy crap. Thinking is hard. <laughs> same building. They're the same building. Yeah. <laughs> Where am I going? Yeah. Question three. Just grappling with your own head. Position each other. Their position vertically. Yeah, that makes sense. Meow. Rainbow. 
All those right. Are, those are my dive results. It's all coming together. Okay. I just snowboarded. <laughs> <laughs> totally what I was thinking. Got it. I'm back. I know the secret of the funhouse. Then let me hear it. What kind of answer will you give, I wonder? Shut up. Just shut up. In the picture Nagito took from Strawberry House, I didn't see Grape House at all. Or did you? So where did Grape House go? Where did Grape House go? For my third grader? It was in a position where it couldn't be seen from Strawberry House. Bep, 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 boop, Which boop, means boop. Strawberry House and Grape House are in the same building, but on different floors. Same building, different floors? Same shit, different day. <laughs> my dark Deva is sweating. <laughs> then the two houses Emitting are a hamstery two different scent. three story buildings. I love it. They're actually one six story building? Oh crap. If you think about it like that, based on Nagito's picture, it's clear where Strawberry House is located. Strawberry House is the upper one and Grape House is the lower one. Mm hmm. Floor above. Because he dropped into Grape House. I see. On top of Grape Maybe it's like a portal situation where, like, you go down and then you come up. Oh. Because of that, the photo taken from the first floor of Strawberry House was at a high angle. And what's even a foot higher than Altogether, that? this means the first floor of Strawberry House. The is sky. Also the above that doesn't Grape have House. to do with anything. Oh. <laughs> I never Please, I have to stop myself from eating my own hand. <laughs> Somebody help! But what about the shape of the building? The two houses were completely different shapes. Um, Strawberry House is four-sided, and Grape House is six-sided, right? Fucking insulation, dude. I don't know. It occurred to us that they were the same building because it was structured with two different shapes. Huh. A quadrilateral and a hexagon. Overlay to top each other to oh. misdirect how you perceive them. Blech. Whoa! We in it. Disregarding the tower, we fully believe the two houses were two separate, distinct buildings. But we were assholes. Fuck us. In Fuck us. Hard. To conceal the unique design of the fun house, Monokuma put us to sleep so we couldn't look at the outside of the building when he brought us to it. Okay. Uh oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> don't you think a Please don't kuma me again. Yeah. So many surprises totally deserves to be called a fun house. Then it's true. The bill. That's oh, right. Sorry. Those two houses exist on different floors in the same building. Oh fuck! My God. You're building like that on your own without my knowledge? How horrible! Then what about the towers? Are they arranged vertically just like the houses? No, they're horizontal. The <laughs> gravity changes. Yeah, Strawberry Tower and Grape Tower should have also been different floors. Uh, oh, God. Just like Strawberry there. House was on top of Grape House, Strawberry Tower was also on top of Grape Tower. Uh, yep. Oh, God. However, if they're different floors within the same building, why was Nekomaru's body in both places? Mm. Ah, your precious hammies don't know. But My hamstrings have nothing to do with this. I'm very limber. Alrighty then. I'll be the one who solves this mystery in a flash. Please watch me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> look, Miss Sonia, look what I can do. <laughs> Just like jumps in the air. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm looking. It's, it's great. Cool. I'll definitely make her watch me. I'm going to stand out till she notices me. Oh, That's God. sure to work. So sad. <laughs> Make your argument. Okay, the good night button. Um. No. Uh, I'm gonna solve this mystery in a flash. And hurry up, dumbass. Hey, dumbass. One of the bodies in one of the towers. Golly, your hamsters. <laughs> it's actually a dummy. Whoops. Boom. No, that's wrong. Uh. -uh. Miss Sonia's watching and everything. You look like a douche. <laughs> Idiot. Tomorrow's body wasn't a dummy. That can be proven by Kazuichi's account. Uh, me? Remember? When we moved from Grape Tower to Strawberry Tower. You said. You said. Yeah. You also saw it. Had moved. And that's when you said. That's the 
same one. Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Right up until that moment, you were disassembling Nekomaru's body at Grave Tower, right? The killer no. couldn't have known how you'd take apart his body. He's <laughs> just, just like looking body. between Hajime and Miss Sonya like, oh, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. Oh, damn. <laughs> Miss Sonia, th that's a pretty harsh joke. Unless you like murderers. Um... You are joking, right? It's all right. Kazuichi is not the killer. He's way too stupid. <laughs> if he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. I see. Or he's just stupid. That is disappointing. He is stupid. <laughs> I'm even more disappointed. I'm even more disappointed. However, even if Nekumar However, she still likes me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my curl like you. Boy Reason Nekumaru's body was in both towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it was simply moved? Hmm. No. The body moved to a different floor? Yes. You can't think of a device like that? Let the body move to a different floor. <laughs> Let the body move to a different floor. <laughs> a device like that? An elevator? <laughs> I feel like I've seen this before. Are we doing Hangman's Gambit? Okay, yeah, cool. It's usually nice. the really obvious one. Boop, ba -ba -da -ba 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 does elevator fit? It sure does. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna combine. I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna combine. And then E. Yes, do it. Bang. Wait, why'd you destroy it? Wait, oh, you gotta hit the, whoops. My bad. <laughs> Okay. Hit a different button. Whoops! <laughs> Elevator. Okay, bye. Oops. Okay, bye. Stop giving me letters I don't need. All right. Huh. Huh. Send. Another E? <laughs> don't mind if I do do. Just another day in the shade for me. Use the A. Use the A. Okay. Oops. I destroyed it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, the T. Hmm. Oh. Elevator. And then... Those are blue. Shit! There goes one. Shit, fuck! <laughs> Shit! Shit, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Wait, I'm lost! Elevate all? Elevator. You must be talking about an elevator. Yes, Hajime. <laughs> Are you saying Nekomaru's body was transported using an elevator? Where the hell is this elevator anyway? It's the it's the it's, it's the, the tower itself. <sighs> the cool. inside of the tower is one big. Never elevator? been inside the haunted mansion. Oh yeah. Which means the tower was designed so that the whole room goes up and down like an elevator. Yeah. This does make so sense. Enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall. This is pretty clever. It all leads to the same room. Right? right? You look at me and tell me the more. So get down, down in the elevator, dog. One side or the other. Now that you mention it, sometimes when I pressed the door button. It took a while for it to open. Okay, so... So the elevator... Mm-hmm. So the elevator that they actually transport themselves on is going up and around the building. Yes. So that it appears like, oh, the hallway's on that side. But it's uh, up at the scene. I believe so. I see. We were basically waiting for the room to arrive just like an elevator. <gasps> what? <laughs> Please hold on. If the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator, 
Then what is the elevator to? Picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower. Hmm. And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower. Mm. They don't open. If the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. It's, so there's different doors on different It's got to go all spinny. After the incident, the far back door and Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? Yes. But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Yeah. Much like we broke through the chains Gosh, of love. That, right, Gundam? If I remember correctly. <laughs> yes. Even the doorknob was <gasps> broken. So it was like, what? <laughs> so the doors are on, they there stay on the floor. There are many strange things. Was that tower really an elevator? When you see people and things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. Oh, thanks, Chiaki. I'll, yeah, I'll that's carry just that nice, nugget with yeah, me everywhere nice I go. Yeah. Can we solve the murder, please? <laughs> Did you say? So, Person who I like. Did they make Nekomaru's taller because happened. he was a tall man? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's taller so. height. Yeah. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Because they said so. Come on. What does everything that hasn't changed have in common? Things, All things must yeah. change or be removed from the influence of time. The things didn't change. No, no, that's not what we're talking about here. The floor. Uh, okay. Shouldn't be anything strange about it. I'm not even the fact that they all moved. Oh, the yeah, the, was the thing on the floor facing the different directions? I see. It's just, it, it, it's just saying that the floor is the only the elevator floor part. Yeah. The walls don't move with it. Ah. Oh, the items on the floor didn't change? And, and, and. Why did the picture on the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. What's the... The reason is because that elevator has something unique about it. Something. What? Something unique about the other... Only the floor moves. Yeah. I see! It's an enormous circle! So that's it. The elevator was designed so only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Only the floor moved. Only the floor moved? Only the floor moved. So only the floor the moved. <laughs> You're right. Only, only the, the floor, floor moved. moved. Only the floor moved. Only the ceiling moved. No, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to cut through that word. <laughs> That's why we saw different doors in each tower. Yeah. I mean, it was in the diagram Which already. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back wall had a grape design. But you can't open them because they're not real. where do the different floors lead? You don't. Stupid. <laughs> I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. We finally solved the mystery of the elevator. So who Not killed Nekomaro? Sure. Oh, I have no idea. Why is something <laughs> like that necessary? So we'd falsely believe that the doors were connected to where their picture signified. I mean, so he was killed because of that, we totally on the Strawberry. Structure. He was killed on Strawberry House. I don't know. Because he was trying to escape the grape door. Because he pulled the door off the hinge. Oh. He was, but it, it, it came off. So he was like clearly trying to escape. Oh. But that wouldn't have happened on Grape Floor. Hmm. hmm. I don't get it. But I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Totally <laughs> twisted. Wah, wah, wah. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. Yeah, everyone in this game is great at that. How did you tie me up? And I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. I don't <laughs> understand. What? What? Like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless joke. Why did she swoon? I think it was like a bit. He's a murderer. Like she was like sarcastically like. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck you. Got it. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. Why don't we just dust Why? for fingerprints? <laughs> because of that chain. You guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? But you could. 
Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on. Even if you do repair the button, what's gonna happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain, but do you not see it? <laughs> Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all, huh? The Sorry about my primal grunt. Hall button, so we but. stay away from Strawberry Tower. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence, so we wouldn't find out about the secret of the Funhouse. The Funhouse. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is, right? The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. Please stop showing us the incorrect diagram. In that situation, if we'd gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. Everyone put your hands to your heads. The truth that the two houses and the two towers are actually one complete vertical building. Okay. All right. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that. That's why they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. All right. Isn't it very convenient that the way that this fun house is laid out is exactly integral to how the murder played out. Yeah, and how would the killer know all this? Yeah. They just, destroyed the it is strange. And wrapped a chain around the door just for that? Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major yeah, inconvenience. After all, this fun house is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Which is strongly connected to the shin bone. Hold on. You're progressing much too quickly. There's still a contradiction concerning the building structure. What a Teach me as if I was stupid. <laughs> Gundam, please proceed. Yes. <laughs> you got it, baby. <laughs> house and grape house are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? I don't know! Sonya's like, my man is so smart. <laughs> you see him? Gosh. I see. Now that you mentioned it, I completely forgot about that matter. If that elevator moves vertically, then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same it side. It goes up and it wraps around, you dingus. But does this reflect reality? No. It does not. Inside Great House, Great Hall is on your right when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left when your back is to the elevator. Now yes. who wants to get at this dick? <laughs> <laughs> Make a line. <laughs> Cue up. <laughs> Which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. Answer me, fiend! What does this mean? Who, who, what does this mean? Yeah, who are you talking to? There's so many fiends. I agree. What does this mean? And I agree. I am a fiend. It wraps around. If it gets in the tower, to be at the both houses. But if it goes up and around, then it just works out. My back is facing the elevator. And I got another thing. And another thing about it. <laughs> How could I break wow. through this contradiction? Make your argument. All right. Uh. I have a day to get in my life. I'm a hammer in my day in my life. The elevator should move vertically, not horizontally. Right. Mm -hmm. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, the towers are in opposite directions. That wasn't it? That, that feels like it. Reasoning. It's clearly contradictory. Oh, oh. When they become a comedy duo? What's with this iron curtain of teamwork? Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? Is that really correct? The two houses are connected vertically. Oh, I just didn't see it on the list. The elevator mm. should move. Vertically, not horizontally. Yes. Boom. No, that's wrong. The one the 180 on the on the thing. What? The 180 on the compass. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. 
Oops. It was like flying all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Me? Come on. You used the elevator while you were holding that compass Nagito gave you, right? Ah, uh, that. Yeah. It was pretty strange. From start to finish, somehow the compass needle rotated 180 degrees. Well, what does that tell you, genius? <laughs> well, I don't know what the heck that could mean. 180 degrees? Like a chicken. Meaning in the rotisserie. The elevator moved between the two houses. <laughs> That's 360. It doesn't just go halfway. It goes all way. No, you're wrong. <laughs> Chickens rotate 360 degrees, <laughs> even when they're alive. <laughs> oh. Ah. Called it. Yeah, you got that one. And thanks to that, the tower we saw on our right side when we arrived at Grape House appeared on our left side when we were at Strawberry. It's the dumbest, most complicated elevator of all time. <laughs> what a waste of everyone's day. An elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? Yes. It's like something from an amusement park. It's, it's very Rocket possible. Rocket ships to space well, are possible. <laughs> is an amusement park attraction, you know. Shut up! Shut up! And since <laughs> just start punching him. Oh, stop! <laughs> Shut up, Monokuma! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> I know! I'm a bear! <laughs> nice. Called that one. You're the lowest one in this room. Yeah, you're the silly little bear. Gundam already said, he's the ultimate weapon. Huh? Yeah. You still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I right, found at the, the octagon, octagon, you know? What is the octagon? I haven't heard about that yet. Um, yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, my. I can't believe I have to explain Oh, my that. God, you idiots don't know and can't read my mind. It's a shape as with eight you sides. Know what an octagon <laughs> means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. What? What an octagon means. Mm -hmm. It's an eight-sided shape. I see. No, I see. An octagon is a shape with eight sides, right? I didn't expect you to know that. For a substitute reserve course student, you're quite knowledgeable. It's like it's like preschool. Yeah. I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? The place with six, uh, no, eight doctors that work on uh, genitals? No, you're thinking of an octagon ecologist. <laughs> no. <laughs> you're wrong. Um, well, you were in the octagon and went down a trap door on the first floor of Strawberry House. Mm hmm. But I'm assuming they want it to be here. I just click a bunch of shit. Strawberry House, of course. I, ooh, it's just, okay, so it's a fucking tower. Huh? Maybe the green one? Crap! What the fuck? Great pass the octagon. Isn't great six headed? There's, a little... Oops. Oops. There's, There's not much left. Either the elevator or the hallways. Uh. Here. Oh. What? The surface? You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete. Oh. Uh, the uh, final dead room. Why is that place the octagon? You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? If you six cut plus a four, four shape out of a six eight. One, you get eight edges. It becomes an eight-sided shape. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. Oh. That's so fucking stupid. I guess it does make sense. Oh yeah. Is that, secret room in the depths of the that does fit. In now looking at how the walls are. That place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too. I was. <laughs> That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. It was the trap door. <laughs> the true identity of the ultimate weapon is the fun house. Uh huh. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. Ooh. 
Um, Very House of Leaves. Keep going. Like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scenery. Oh, so the killer also did the, the and game. And then thought of a way to kill, making use of the building structure. The funhouse itself is the weapon. So they killed using the building structure? Huh. Yes? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon? Such a spectacular... So how run. did they use the building itself as a weapon? <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. Keep it rolling. The wire. Mm-hmm. It was wrapped around Nekomaru. Was tied to the doorknob. Oh, and it let him it like pulled him apart. Yeah, and then well What what when the building moved? Yeah, because I'm thinking like it was the Power of the elevator going down made the pillar yeah fall over. yeah I could see that maybe but I, but the pillar didn't kill him if he's whatever I don't know what does this mean how did the killer use that to murder Nekomaru and who was the killer who did that some kind of jerk some kind of big big old jerk jerk <laughs> oh cool we got a little Monokuma model yeah that oh makes great no yeah no we'll waste some time. <laughs> Why, hello there! I thought of a brand of a new bad word to call Manomi. Oh, well, I can already tell I won't be pleased by this. Then let me say it right away. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> that was good. What are you gonna say? I was just gonna say a word and then tell the editors to like bleep it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. But then everybody'd be like, "What do you say?" <laughs> and then they. Say you said something way worse than anything you would have said. Yeah, it's not worth it. Uh, hey, hey, I'm already used to insults and slanders. There's no way I'll get hurt by a mere word. Manami is a serious stafatly. Mm. That's much more straightforward than I expected. Stafatly, huh? Test, test, test. That's not it. That's not it at all. Stupid, fat, and ugly. The perfect jet stream attack incorporating all three of these would be ta da, stafatly. Oh, whoa, whoa. There's a fat hidden in there? Yeah, that I mean, was like the most obvious yeah, one. Yeah, it's completely in there. All together now! Monami is a serious stufatly! Wow, you really got her. Wow. Got him! Sick burn, can we resume the trial for murder now? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know you guys were a lot of fun! Mm. Oh, here we go. I hope your day is well! Thank you, Monami. Same. <laughs> something like crazy. I might as well have a laid back so what attitude and go ahead with high energy. Yeehaw! Uh, Yeehaw. But be careful that your batteries don't run out for various reasons. And just like I say each time, don't forget to save frequently. Okay. All right. Um, I, I never. <laughs> Expected the funhouse itself to be the ultimate weapon. Oh well. Let's just <laughs> oh, move on ahead. Okay, whatever. I, is it really all right to accept a situation so easily? Fuck it, right? All right. I mean, <laughs> that's not what's important. The thing that's really important is. I'm uh -huh. hungry. The killer who used the building structure. Like who's Mekumaru's murderer? <laughs> like, totally. <laughs> but is it really okay to believe the building is the weapon? Nagito said it, you know. There's no way I'd lie at such an important moment. Oh, really? Is there I don't no want way? To die either. What happened to the bastard who kept saying how much they didn't mind dying? He's right. There was a time when I thought I could become a stepping stone for your hopes, but I will sincerely retract that remark. Okay. Retract? I'm disappointed. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah. If this was a murder for the sake of hope, I'd happily sacrifice myself. <laughs> you say such falsehoods per usual. There is no such thing as murder for the sake of hope. Murder is simply murder. I think I'd know. I just commit. Sacrificing <laughs> <laughs> others for one's own desires, even one as diabolical as I would avoid such action. And I, I said fucking loudly. Rule. 
I see. It's fine. Let's just leave him alone and find out who killed Coach Nekomaru as fast as we can. Just so you know, it's not like I'm getting hungry or anything, you know. Boy, I really have no idea who it is. Uh, Akane, you are drooling waterfalls? <coughs> Don't go drooling waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. It's either soda <coughs> or Gundam. I don't think it's soda, because Chiaki said soda's not the murder. <coughs> yeah, well, just because Chiaki said it. <coughs> Gosh, I swallowed wrong. Nikito, as usual, I can't tell what he's thinking. I have no idea if he's serious or not. Anyway, oh, well, I guess I'll never know. If the killer used the building structure, why don't we think about how they used it? I think it's Gundam or Sonya. Sonya? Yeah, because you're not thinking about her. Oh, yeah. How oh, they killed Nekomaru. It might be better if we clarify the cause of death first, don't you think? Nekomaru's cause of death, huh? The bazooka that turned him into a robot. Yeah. He was horribly damaged as if he was beaten senseless with a blunt object. If he was beaten with a blunt object, it wouldn't be a kill that utilized the building structure. What, do they just make the elevator go up and just... Yep. Um... I'm assuming it's crushed by the elevator. Or falling? Did he fall? Maybe he went through the door. I don't know. I see. Oh, okay, it was right. He fell! <laughs> That's it. I think he might have died from falling. Died from falling? If the fun house's secret is that it's a structure where both towers and houses are vertically connected, then the killer made use of its height and caused Negomaro to die from falling. Are you saying they pushed him off? Where'd they push him off from? That, I don't know yet. Ew. Don't just make things up when you don't oh, know. Oh, they tied him. They tied him to the door. Mm-hmm. They tied him to the, 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 pe the, the grape door. Right, right, right. And then the elevator went down. Yes. And then he fell. Because it came off the hinges. Oh. Uh, um. Where in that building would you even be able to push someone off in the first place? It might be possible in the tower. You could push him off the fourth floor when the elevator is on the first floor. But you can't open the door if Did it's in the Did you forget how the elevator functions? When it's on the first floor, the door on the fourth floor won't open. <laughs> Saying he died from <laughs> falling is truly incorrect. You should burn in the flames of hell. Man, if it was Gundam, I'm really gonna miss him. <laughs> but my gut is going crazy right now. Nekomaru died from falling. Where did the killer shove Nekomaru from? If I'm gonna reach the truth behind this incident, I need to solve that mystery next. Time to snowboard. <laughs> okay. Alright. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Nope. It'd be impossible to shove off the victim from up there. Wait. Then, how about this? After locking Mekamaru inside the elevator. They moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor. Huh? And they used huh? the drop. Oh, whoops. Oh. That's not it. Okay. <laughs> what you Shot what a lot of bullets there. <laughs> Damn it! Usually it's the one when where the there's like a bunch of stuff in front of it. Mm -hmm. You can't go through the door on the fourth floor. Huh. Maybe it is Gundam, though, because that, that IC response from uh, Nagito was very... Pointed. After locking Mekamaru inside nice. the elevator, he like zoomed all in on his they face. Moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor and made use of the drop. Hold on, did you forget the elevator has a sensor? Yeah. As long as there's a moving object inside. Whoop! Moving object. No, that's wrong. Turned him off. That sensor should only work if something is. Yeah, moving. yeah. If Nekamaru he was wasn't shut down. Inside, Elevator sensor wouldn't have detected anything. He had the shutdown button, which stopped his heart, his quote unquote robot heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When Nekomaro's goodnight button is pressed, all of his functions shut down, and he enters sleep mode. Oh no. If he's in sleep mode, the elevator sensor wouldn't have noticed him, right? I see. So that's how. 
However, even if they moved the elevator in that manner, Nekomaru would have just moved along. Not if they tied him with a wire, baby. There would have been no drop for him to fall and die from. Yes. That's what I was about to explain before Kazuichi. Before Kazuichi interrupted God, me. No one likes him. Oh damn. A way to create the drop inside the elevator while Nekomaru is still in it. Chiaki seems to have an idea, but what way could that be? Make your argument. <laughs> Silence, Why? cuck. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> if you arrange it a certain way. A certain arrangement? Yeah, I. I was close. I thought like the so wire pulled him apart, but I guess it's just the fact that. The wire like tripped him up. It, right? And he fell. Well, I think it held on to him. And then the doorknob. Isn't it about time we went over the pillar again? That's possible too. When he landed on the pillar. The doorknob on the floor seems suspicious. Huh. I consent! <laughs> now, fuck me! <laughs> Didn't the doorknob have scrape marks on it? Yes. That might have been where it got scraped by the wire. Mm -hmm. Is that the same wire that was tied around Nekomaru? Mm -hmm. The tip of that wire was tied into a loop. Mm -hmm. The elevator moved while that loop part hung from the doorknob. If, if they did something like that, he would have been suspended in midair. <gasps> mm -hmm. yep. That's right. He was suspended in midair. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Thank you. Suspended in midair. The yes. Tied up in midair. With the wire while he was in sleep mode, tied the tip of the wire into a knot and hung it on the doorknob mm, to the fourth yes. floor. Yes. With that, they moved the elevator from the fourth floor to the first floor of Grape Tower. Aww. Suspended Nakamaru in midair. He's sweeping Nakamaru. That's right. He was so well hung. <laughs> kind of like. Gundam. You better not finish that sentence. <laughs> Me. <laughs> the killer took advantage of the elevator's unique feature. Only the floor moves. By doing that, they created a drop so that he could fall to his death. <laughs> He's got a unique feature. Only the floor moves. Too easy. <laughs> Whoa, Whoa, easy now. So what if they created a drop? There's no way you can make him fall and die with just that. Why? If Nekomaru is suspended in midair like that, then how do you get him to fall? He's because if he's suspended in midair, he won't die if he doesn't actually fall. Oh no. Maybe it was Soda who did it because maybe the maybe the compass alerted him to the fact that the elevator rotates like that. Well that was after the murder. Oh, that was after the murder, you're right. Even if they suspended Nekomaru from a wire. A fucking hamster could have crawled up there. Oh, <laughs> That's our answer for everything. Oh, oh dear. Oh. But in this case, it's true. A fucking hamster could have gone up there. It's true. How would they make him fall? There's no one in the tower to push. There's no way they could do that. Oh, mm. oh you really need to make it perfect. Yeah. It oh, I did. It. Someone had to oh. push him off. It's like possible hamster? that he fell on his own. What? Nekomaru fell on his own? Um. Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? If he was sleeping, there's no way he could do that to a pet. Now's the time, but in that case, you still won't be able to explain the drop. Moving the elevator with Nekomaru in is just impossible. End of story. Oh, nice. Okay, here's the first one. Thanks, Kajuichi. I think I figured it out. Now come at me Nekomaru with the same. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Time for my closing argument. Oops. <laughs> what? Uh, oh. Nekomaru fell on his own? Nekomaru should have still been in sleep mode, right? No. Look up. Cut through those words. Because of his internal clock? Yeah, because of his alarm went off. Yes, Nekomaru yes. woke up while he was suspended upside down in midair. What are you saying? Like... How would he even wake up? He has an Ring a ding dang do, bitch. As long as he was armed, it would have deactivated his sleep mode. 
Which means the killer set the alarm before they suspended Nekamaru. Oh! If you woke up from an alarm and realized you were hanging upside down and had no clue why, you would pee your pants. I would. <laughs> and then it would go like into if your face. Like that to you, <laughs> and you'd be like, ew, pee. You'd start panicking a lot, right? Instinctively, your body would start moving. Nekamaru probably did exactly that. And then, in order to make him fall from the force he was generating, the wire was hung on the tip of the doorknob so it would easily slip off. In actuality, the scrape marks caused by the wire were near the tip of the doorknob, hmm. right? But Nekomaru didn't fall because the wire came off, right? Yeah. He oh, fell the because the doorknob, doorknob yeah. came off. Popped off, yeah. When Nekomaru awoke, he must have struggled much more than expected. Which caused the doorknob to break off. Yeah. What a dork. And next time on Game Grumps, we'll oh learn just how much more of a dork he is. God, oh, oh we're so close. All right. Goodbye. Bye, mwah. Until next time. Mm, mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah.